can you tell what the weather's going to be like tomorrow? Well, you can look at the weather forecast in the paper, or you can listen to it on the radio or television. But you can get part way there yourself if you happen to have a hygrometer. What's a hygrometer? I'm glad you asked. Hygro means water, metre means measure. It's a thing for helping you to measure the amount of water vapour in the air. You can make one with odds and ends around the home. You will need, first of all, a block of wood and a piece of cardboard, a couple of drawing pins, a couple of straight pins, a plastic drinking straw and, most important of all, two strands of human hair. The longer, the better. I borrowed a couple from a young lady called Kerry. Here it is, all ready to go. And here's how you put the bits and pieces together. You start with the block of wood and you place the cardboard over the top of it. And then you take the drawing pins and you push them through into the block of wood and then tap them in gently until the two things are securely bound together. That makes the background for your hygrometer. Now the drinking straw is going to be the pointer. It's going to tell you what the weather's like by pointing to a particular part of the scale. First of all, you need to snip the end off the drinking straw, like so. That'll make a nice, sharp pointer. And right up the other end of the drinking straw, you make a little V-shaped cut, going about halfway through the straw in this position here. Now, with one of the straight pins, you make a hole near the cut, but just a few millimetres towards the pointed end. Now, I think you can see already that that will work as a pointer. If I pull on the notch, the notched end like that, pull down just a little way, you can see that the other end moves quite a long way, so it exaggerates any movement. Now comes the most difficult part of all, tying those two strands of human hair together. Now, if I do it, you probably won't see what's happening, so I'll pretend that this string is human hair. You take the two strands, like so, and you put a loop in the end, and then tuck the ends through that loop and pull it tight, and you make a knot. There we are. Now, you can do it with human hair, but it takes quite a bit longer. It's harder than threading a needle. I've already done it here with these two strands. It took me about five minutes to tie the knots at each end. There we are, but you can see what I've ended up with a long loop of human hair. And this bit sits over that little notch there. Now, if that happens to change in length for any reason, you can see that it will pull down on the arrow and make the other end go up. And here's a finished hygrometer. From this pin, we have a loop of hair that comes up to the notch in the drinking straw. And then the whole arrow is suspended going across to that scale. Now, if there's a lot of water vapor around in the air, the hair will absorb that and it will actually become a little longer, just a fraction of a millimetre. It will stretch. So this end of the straw will go up a fraction, the other end will go down several millimetres. If, on the other hand, we have hot, dry air, some of the water will be lost from the hair and the hair will shrink. And so it'll pull down on this end of the drinking straw and that end of the straw will go up. Let's pretend it's about to be a hot, dry day. We'll blow some hot air onto the hair and see if we can make it shrink and the arrow go up with a hairdryer. Watch the end of the straw. And you can see it climbing steadily. So with that little device, you can tell how much water vapour there is in the air, and that'll give you a fairly good indication of what the weather will be like tomorrow.